very good evening to everyone present here i am simran jagatyo the coordinator at law internships and moderator for today's interactive session organized by law internships we have amongst us advocate r abhishek castro sir sir is the president founder and chairperson of castro lexi due foundation and present advocate at madras high court sir is a third generation lawyer and certified international blockchain advisor and right now a pg student of llm in business law he is a university distinction rank holder during his ug time and had addressed 100 plus national and international conferences presented research papers he received the award from election commission of india as the best speaker from shri banwarilal purohit honorable governor of tamil nadu he also received the best speaker awards consecutively for the five years from 2015 to 2020 from dr ambedkar mm -hmm. law university tamil nadu he is also holding a law student leadership offices in the university and also had received india's best law student of the year 2020 best out by honorable justice kurian joseph former judge supreme court of india and ally group of foundation indore we welcome you sir thank you thank you so much uh, simran for your uh, wonderful introduction i take immense pleasure to address this forum today first of all i would like to thank law internships mr shubhang sir and uh, my dear friend riti jindal for inviting me to address on this topic thank you simran for your uh, wonderful introduction for your generosity and for your uh, good uh, thank you sir briefing about my profile thank you so much for that thank you sir. so good evening all good evening to all the participants the interns the students community i am very happy to address the students pan india across india very happy to be with you all today evening so i am very happy to note that many interns are turning and many reviews when i see the review posters of law internships about the interns uh, review about uh, the internship experience in the law internships i am very much happy and i am admiring that and i am so happy that the students are getting more benefit through these kind of internships and through these kind of programs this is really a great initiative from law internships and first of all i would like to congratulate that you students are coming forward to expose yourself into the field with a practical experience practical learning apart from the theoretical learning and then the mark based the bookworm and then the academic centric learning really i am very happy and i congratulate you all for that really every every progress every achievement or every life goal will be achieved when we are keeping our step forward and moving forward and taking up the challenges and putting us in the field and taking risk then only it will be able to get manifested into reality whatever the dream or goal or whatever the progress you want to achieve in your life you people are doing that so in such a way i am very much happy i am blessed to address you all to the evening on this topic so before going into the topic i would like to give a clear explanation about the topic first of all then only you will all be all be having a good interest to listen to the session so i am not going to be more uh, what to say subject oriented or uh, concept oriented more than that i am going to be practical because i know i always believe that practical learning only will help you to do something better that only will give you a real experience a real exposure and a real uh, what to say and uh, a satisfaction in life so that in such a way the practical learning only will help you so my way of teaching will always be practical i will also be theoretical i will also be concept oriented i will also be the uh, what to say the perspectives and techniques oriented but at the same time i must always uh, impact the session i always believe on this whatever the session i am addressing i always create an impact in the listeners i will always create an impact on the viewers that is very very important then only even after the session you all will be remembering me you will all will be remembering the session and you will be recollecting the teachings whatever i am giving through this platform so before going into the session i would like to brief the legal research 
what is legal research we have lot of research perspectives in life in order to work out a strategy to achieve something in life we are doing lot of research we are looking at the scenarios we are looking at our environment we are looking at our lifestyle we are looking at our uh, what to say uh, day to day life situations challenges risk and we are working out a strategy to achieve something so all the human beings are good researchers actually it is educated or uneducated it is illiterate or literate everybody is and researcher in his life because everybody is doing a research to do something even a layman he will do research how to get a free time food he will do a research where i can get a place to stay he will do research what i can uh, do to uh, survive in this world without money without uh, what to say any 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 basic necessities a layman i'm talking about a poor man in the roadside or a, what to say a uh, um, the person without anything the homeless like that everybody are good researchers even the high profile people international business people uh, judges and then uh, advocates and every sector from top to bottom of the society everybody is doing some research to achieve something in their life or somebody will be doing research for a destructive purpose somebody will be doing research for a constructive purpose somebody will do a research to uh, what to say to do a bomb blast like that research are happening everywhere everybody is doing research like that we when we talk about this legal research legal research itself confined us to a area it is related to law you all must uh, understand this legal research is related to law the law subjects the law subject matter the regulations rules judgments and then the provisions of law or the concepts of law the branches of law or the various other uh, stuffs the legal stuffs the stuffs which has an excess or a connectivity or a bondage with the law so these all are uh, legal researches so when we are doing this legal research first of all you must understand you need not want to be an expert in everything you need not want to be a specialized person in all the laws because i always say whenever i go to any session i always encourage the students to read more books read more books analyze things ask questions give your own answer think differently think out of box think in a different manner you be an exceptional person who is thinking differently from others you should not be an uh, one among the 100 or one among the 1000 one among the 1 lakh or one among the 1 crore you must be a person unique from the 1 10 or uh, what to say 100 or a lakh or the 10000 or the crore you must be an exceptional person you must be excellent in everything you must be such a kind of a person an exceptional thinker and sharp with a sharpened mind so that is very very important so how you can sharp yourself only through reading so how you can read when you research only you will be able to read because reading habits how you can encourage is by searching for something only you will be motivated or forced to read something so when you don't have any search in your life when you don't have any questions in your life when you don't have any kind of perspectives in your life how you will be searching for like that when it comes to a legal research the main main first first point first agenda of the legal uh, there is an agenda for everything right if you are doing a uh, program you will be having an agenda if you are doing some uh, events or anything you will be having an agenda like that when you are doing a legal research you must have an agenda this is the structure this is the way of doing a legal research so everything has a structure in life everything has a structure when this meeting room is organized to conduct the program first i was i was allowed the moderator was allowed the host was there then you all are allowed so there is entry there is exit like that everything has a structure the organization structure like that the legal research also has its own organizational structure you have to follow that organizational structure then only you will be able to do that legal research perfectly okay so that's the reason this topic is really a good topic but this topic is a very vast topic but i am not going to cover it very vast because it's a one hour session i am going to cover it in a very basic manner but the basic will build up it will uh, put up a chain and then it will take you to the vast uh, concept of this legal research that is based on your interest that is based on your zeal to learn and enthusiasm to learn matters in this way so when it comes to this legal research first of all i will i will narrate it in a very simple points 
first of all you must select the proposition the selection of topic is very very important so when you come to a legal research you have to select a topic and then the research methodology so in the next level is research methodology what is going to be your research methodology so how we are going to do a research for example we are having primary sources secondary sources we are having uh, what to say various other uh, sources books the commentaries and then the articles and then the magazines and then the uh, what to say various other uh, law books text commentaries and then etc many things are there many stuffs are there because when you are doing a research you must keep your mind broad you should not confine yourself for example if your research is india for example in delhi you cannot say that india means this is india you cannot identify india first of all india is a union of states india has a different culture india has a different tradition india has a different languages india has a different kinds of people india has a different kinds of geographical features physical features india has a different uh, what to say states that states has different uh, what is everything many many unity in diversity so when you have the broad mind only you will come to this point india means unity in diversity within all these diversifications we all are united together so you will come to this conclusion so if you are not keeping yourself broad you will come to this conclusion majority of the population in india are hindus so india is a hindu rashtra india is a hindu nation so can you get my point can you understand what i am telling so if you are not keeping yourself broad you will come to this conclusion only majority of the population in pakistan is muslim so the it is a muslim nation majority of the population in uh, india is a hindu so it's a hindu nation hindu nation or hindu rashtra so you will come to this conclusion when you are ha- keeping your mind broad when you are thinking in a constitutional perspective when you are thinking in various other perspective uh, the 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 livelihood of the peoples the various sect of the society the inequality prevailing in the society and then the different lifestyle of the people metropolitan city lifestyle urban city lifestyle rural city rural lifestyle and then the village lifestyle so every perspective if you think you will not come to this conclusion india belongs to one religion or one people you will come to this conclusion that india is a a uh, nation which has a unity in diversity so like that why i am telling this example is when you select a topic you must keep yourself broad you must uh, select the topic topic selection is very very important because when you are selecting a topic which is going to help you to express your views your ideas your knowledge your learning your suggestion your recommendation and uh, what are the what are the insights you have for the topic that is only going to create an impact wherever you are going to submit your research paper it is going to help the society or it is going to help the institution or it is going to create a change in the society so in such a way you must select the topic very wisely topic selection is very very important to, to do a legal research after that after the topic selection what you all must do is that you all must uh, find out the way the research methodology how you are going to do this research the modus operandi you can write whatever i am telling you can write some of the important points the modus operandi modus operandi means what what modus operandi means the procedure the research procedure what you are going to do so when you find out the research methodology the research techniques when you find out that you must start working on it so the main main uh, what to say the, the 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 mantra for a researcher to do a legal research is he must uh, read continuously he must be an avid reader he must be a ferocious reader the reader today is tomorrow's leader so like that you all must as abraham lincoln says this word the leader today is tomorrow's leader so you have to read 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 then only you will get an idea then only you will do lot of wonders in your research so the reading habit the untiring efforts the focus the focus of mind that should not be scattering the concentration the single minded devotion must be towards your reading for this i'll tell you a good example when i say this examples this kind of uh, often illustrations if i give only the session will go more interesting one day what happened in uh, trivandrum dr apj abdul kalam was going to a, a hotel to have his breakfast that time it was heavily raining in uh, trivandrum because uh, before shri harikota in the indian space research organization was there in tumba in kerala so that time he is going to the hotel to have his breakfast he was in the research in isro okay uh, what is happening in the morning he is going for his breakfast there was a heavy rain heavy rain 
Dr. Kalam had uh, umbrella in his uh, hand, but when he is going to the hotel, he was uh, what to say, smeared with the rain, and then uh, he was very wet. That time the hotel owner is asking, Dr. Kalam, you are coming to have your breakfast. You had umbrella in your hand. Why you did not use your umbrella? That time Mr. Kalam is replying to him, I don't know. I had umbrella in my hands. I forgot it. So what is what is what what I am coming to convey here is that Dr. Kalam, 24 hours he dedicated himself in the research, in the research of space organization. So he did not even remember he is having umbrella in his hand. He forgotten everything. See what a kind of uh, dedication a researcher had. I want to tell this as a story, an inspirational story to you all. He forgot the umbrella he had in his hand. In the midst of raining, he went with, uh, with, uh, with umbrella. He was uh, wet. So this the hotel owner was astonished by his reply. So that time the hotel owner thought that he is dedicated, he is committed, and then he is uh, very much, uh, what to say, the loyal to the ISRO and then uh, he, he was doing an extensive, highly uh, concentrated research in the ISRO. So like that, a researcher must have a full-time focus on his research. So that is very, very important. So many may call you nerd. I have seen many people, even in my college days, when I was doing a lot of research, often I'll be with books only. I'll be having five books or three books always in hand. I'll be doing a lot of reading, extensive reading, a ferocious reading. So when I'm doing this, people will say, you're a nerd. Why are you working like this? Why are you behaving like a monster? <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have undergone these kind of, uh, what is it? Some views, people may comment like this. But the researcher is only going to make change in the society. You all must remember this. When you read Lord, when you do something progressively, you are going to make changes in the society. Many may feel uh, what to say. At a, at a stretch, you may feel imbalance in your research. You may feel tired. You may feel distracted. So I would like to suggest to the researchers to do meditation, to do meditation, to concentrate your mind and to, to do meditation, to focus yourself. This is my personal suggestion. You can take it. Those who are interested, you can practice this. And uh, the research techniques. The research techniques I told you, secondary, primary sources, and then various other sources. So what I would like to tell the researchers is that, first of all, you must be strong in the concept. That is very, very important. If you're not strong in the concept, no use of doing the research. You'll not be able to do the research. When you're not strong in the concept, you'll not be able to do any research. And a wide learning, the wide uh, expansion of uh, search that must be there in the research. So you should not confine yourself to one particular area of the one particular topic. When you're taking a topic, for example, if we are doing a research on the Indian banking, you have to research on the various other perspectives, the Indian economic policy, the union budget, and then the Ministry of Finance and Corporate Affairs, how it is functioning, what's the relationship between the Reserve Bank of India and then the Government of India, how Reserve Bank of India is controlling the commercial banks. When, when you have to do a topic is Indian banking, you must go in deep, many perspectives. What is the overseas bank, overseas bank impact on the Indian banking system? What are the Indian bank frauds which has impacted the Indian banking system? After these Indian bank frauds, how the Indian banking system has been reformed? In many perspectives, you have to research. In multi-dimensional perspective, you have to research. So how Indian banking, where we took lessons, in which country is a model for Indian banking? When RBA was established in Mumbai, where we took it as a model. So you have to read the works of Dr. Ambedkar, the one rupee, the problematic uh, uh, ru Indian rupee. There is a uh, research work done by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. You have to read that. So how he has done that research, that was the base and that was the reason for establishing the Reserve Bank of India. Even in the last session also, I quoted this. I, I request all to read that uh, research work, how he has done. So like that, you have to do a lot of uh, multi-dimensional, uh, broad study on uh, doing a research. That is very important for a researcher. You cannot confine yourself into one particular zone and uh, you must always keep yourself in awakening mode. You must uh, always open your eyes and uh, search for uh, sources. Selecting, acquiring, accumulating, collecting sources is very, very important. 
as a researcher collecting sources is very very important everybody is source for you i will not say source is only papers even when you interact with your friends he may give you some sources when i interact with my seniors they may give me some sources when i interact with my juniors they may give me some sources so sources is everywhere but you must have that i the vision the power to acquire that sources that that is in your hands only you have to you have to keep yourself open for that to take up the sources and another important thing when it comes to the research is that so wait a minute i'll check the time this half an hour already okay so another important thing what you must do is that you have to take up the judgments because in all the research papers we used to quote the judgments so you must ensure that the judgments are not overruled for example you may cite one judgment but that judgment might have been overruled by an another judgment so you will be justifying this is the judgment for this matter but but if you are not doing that extensive research the overall uh, multi dimensional what is a search and reading you may cite one judgment but the judgment might have been overruled and uh, there will be another judgment to, which has been overruled by the judgment what you have uh, justified or cited so you must be very careful and you must accumulate the sources and you have to make an analysis that is very important just like that i have collected all the sources i am going to quote all the sources i am going to uh, what to say mention all the sources i am going to cite all the sources you cannot say you have to make an analysis for example uh, when you are collecting lot of sources sources are scattered you have collected but you must identify which sources are best which sources have to go to dustbin you have to analyze this that is very important which sources must be utilized which sources must not be utilized which sources will help us which sources will not help us which sources is going to be useful and which sources is going to be useless you have to think in these perspective also so i told you very briefly i told you i will share a ppt a very short ppt so in the ppt shall i uh, share my screen nariti yes sir when yes sir when i will share my screen my screen is visible yes sir yeah this slide i have to show to you all so main point is that when you are doing a research paper a legal research what you must do is that you must understand the assignment okay then you have to choose a research paper topic after that conduct a preliminary research an introductory research you have to conduct and you have to develop a thesis statement what is going to be a research objective what is going to be a research motto what is going to be a research purpose then you have to create a research paper outline what is going to be the structure of the research paper what are the areas you are going to cover the synopsis the the subheadings and then all the structure you have to design out for your research paper and write a first draft of the research paper some may write some may go to the directly to the final draft some people will go because those people are expert they are coming from the heaven so directly they will go to the final draft so what i always suggest people is first to go for first draft you prepare a first draft if it is perfect go for the final so write the introduction this these you people know introduction conclusion and then the synopsis and all the contents subheadings everything you would know and write the compelling body of text the compelling body the body of the text write the conclusion the revision process you revise revise the research paper and the research paper checklist so anything else you have to add it any contents you can check it and then uh, a slide making ppt presentation you all know that so these are the what to say the steps to write a research paper a legal research paper okay other skills i want to tell you right the other skills for a researcher is that you must be a good at computer skills 
because uh, many people are uh, not have any idea about entering a footnote i have seen many people so learn it and identifying the sources as i told understanding the structure of a research paper i have told you right structure is up to you you can keep any structure it is up to you it's outcome of your study and you are learning so it is up to you so the reading habits you must be an ferocious and avid reader i told you right so the logical analytical reasoning skills that is very important when you are doing a legal research the logical analytical and reasoning skills you must reason out for example if there is no any law for manual scavenging in india the person who is doing manual scavenging his children his his descendants they will become the manual scavengers and when there is no law for manual scavenging in india those who are going to this manhole the drainage system due to the suffocation due to the foul smell they will die inside the hole the manhole manual scavengers so we need a law to protect the manual scavengers we must use the machines to take the manual dirt and then the junks all the drain drains in the drainage system so like that the reasoning so you must have that reasoning so when you are doing a research on the manual scavenger you should not say that uh, the manual scavenger system you cannot support it you must think alternative so that one human should not be burdened he should not be harmed so you must think in a reason in a foreseeable perspective that we can use the machines or you can uh, you can suggest some recommendations and techniques to annihilate the manual scavenging system in india like that you have to think i am telling a good example for you people so that you will have a better understanding so access and better use of library that is very important for religious people temple is a library for the readers for the researchers library is the temple i want to tell you see how i have connected it's a quote you can use this quote you can write it in your rough note that that mr advocate mr abhishek has told only his quote in the session for the religious leader the library is the temple can you understand what i am telling so follow this so learning from the guides and mentors you must have a good guide and then the research mentor to guide you in your track of uh, uh, writing a research paper you may it may be your professor it may be a phd scholar or it may be me an advocate or it may be anybody you have to have a guide that is very important because everybody is not expert in everything even i am a learner in many things so i will always have a guide so everybody researcher must have a guide researcher must have a model researcher must have a person to direct and the researcher must have a person to give him motivation that is very important so another thing out of compelling resources the materials books the voluminous documents what you are going to utilize and being focused and concentrated that is very important i told you right the mind control the mental ability the single minded devotion is very important you may be a good uh, uh, what to say a researcher you may have a big ideas you may have big thoughts and you may have a big vision but if you are highly distracted what is the use of it what is the use of it you cannot do a wonderful research so keeping a uh, keep on acquiring updating knowledge you have to keep on acquiring updating knowledge i would like to request people to read books newspapers magazines editorials and everything wherever you go read something always have some reading materials with you to read something so be searching be search be search search for something keep on acquiring updating the knowledge knowledge is the only wealth health is the only wealth which we should not distract in our life this is what i used to advise to many students knowledge is the wealth the health is the wealth the the wealth whatever you have the the, the money the luxurious life or uh, all the atrocious uh, the crazy what to say projections whatever you have that will destroy one day but your knowledge and the health which will help you to achieve anything in your life at any time so remember this also this quote also in your life so keep on acquiring knowledge and updating knowledge having a problem taking efforts to find a solution i have seen many researchers many students in life in academics in the in the profession or everywhere they will have problem but they will not be ready to find a solution that solution will be within you or somebody may give you that solution or some books may teach you that solution or somebody will teach you that solution but people are not ready to accept that solution some may not search the solution some may find the solution and they will misunderstood or underestimate this is not a solution so that kind of attitude should not be there you must listen you must be an observer you must be in silence you must have a patience 
and you must observe things instead of being a chatterbox you must be a good observer instead of being a what to say a speaker you must be a good listener that is very important for a researcher and uh, exploring many areas don't confine yourself into one particular area if you are doing a research on criminal law do it then go for medical jurisprudence then go for business law then go for maritime law then go for law of war then go for national security then go for information technology and internet laws then go for commercial laws then go for international law like go for many laws don't confine yourself into one particular area taste everything in life okay so the another thing is that okay the structure of a research the legal research so first general specific and general okay the introduction establishes the background the nature of a research problem importance of the topic or newness of the research so you will be establishing the background of your research in the introduction the nature of the research problem the purpose the methods and then the results and the discussion you can look at my uh, you can take a screenshot also no problem so i hope you all understand you got the structure of the research paper the structure varies everybody some may include bar chart some may include graph and then uh, it is not uh, i will not suggest any structure to anybody it's up to you to work out your structure qualities of a good researcher yeah qualities of a good researcher what is a successful research paper that is very important yeah i will give you other things to remember in simple points get familiar with assignment remember what is your topic pick a topic research organize the research form a thesis create an outline write edit for content edit for grammar and grammatical mistakes is very very important i have seen many researchers doing grammatical mistakes edit for content so in order to avoid grammatical mistakes i would like to suggest uh, students kindly try to make yourself strong in grammar for that you please read renan martin english grammar and composition renan martin note note down this book name renan martin please read this book for english grammar and then for the computer basic level you have to good at uh, microsoft excel microsoft word and then uh, other microsoft access outlook and then uh, what to say microsoft uh, uh what to say other uh, microsoft platforms you must be expert in this not expert you must learn the basics for that and uh, reread and submit your paper that's it simple points i have uh, narrated and what is a successful research paper that fulfills the objective of increasing readers knowledge you must increase the readers knowledge you must give accurate concise comprehensive information in unbiased information to the readers your information should not mislead or misdirect or misguide anybody and uh, own work of the author that is very important when you are doing a legal research paper don't cut and copy paste i will not at all accept this please don't do that don't copy anybody's research don't steal the work don't be a copy cat okay don't be a copy cat be like a innocent how snowball will be there very innocent very genuine cat like that be a cat like snowball don't be a cat like uh, what to say a copy cat copying the others research don't be like that so the plagiarism test you have to undergo when you finish a research paper so if you are not if it is a your original work there is a novelty you will not get rejected in the plagiarism so the answer the research question and giving a solution to that and qualities of a good research paper it must be rigorous controlled accurate clear concise valid verifiable sequential precise original coherent academic style of writing general that's it and present as good presentation and communication skills to make the work to reach many that is very important research paper which gives a solution to reach uh, to the research issue whatever the research issue you are taking try to give your solution try to give your recommendations try to give your suggestions that is very important when you are doing a research paper if you are not giving a solution recommendations or suggestions no use of doing a research so this is my advice to everybody so i have briefed you and communication skills and good presentation skills also you all have to improve in all okay the communication skills and the presentation skills that is very very important and qualities of a good researcher 
next an analytical mind a people's person so you must be a people's person you should not confine yourself into one zone one sector of people one sector of society one sector of culture one sector of tradition one sector of language one sector of a scenario you must mingle with any everybody so i would like to say first of all for a good leader for a good researcher for a for uh, for uh, success in your life i will tell you a simple formula you must be judgmental that, that that does not mean that i don't have any right to judge others that that kind of a judgmental i am not telling you must judge which is which is good which is bad which is a good uh, research material which is a good research uh, resources which is a good research topic so in this way you must be judgmental many people will say when why, why sir you are asking you to i asking us to be judgmental i am not asking you to be judgmental to judge somebody i am asking you to be judgmental in taking which is good which is bad then you must be an extrovert you should not be a introvert because introvert okay fine that is also fine but what i am telling is when you are extrovert only you will mingle with everybody you will be connecting with everybody you will learn from everybody you will interact with everybody and you will a lawyer should not be an introvert a scientist a science a person who is doing a research on science a person who is a writer a russian literature writer you if you see leo tolstoy if you see leo tolstoy he is a introvert he will not interact with everybody he is a very very introvert person who is introspecting within himself to bring out good works like war and peace and then resurrection and many works you have to read the russian novels to increase your uh, to 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 to, to uh, what to say get your good english oratorical skills a good grammar please read russian novels it is my suggestion to you all so you must be an extrovert you must mingle with everybody and you must be a good thinker thinking is very important you must be a good thinker you must be visionary you must be a visionary you must be innovative personality like bill gates sundar pichai and satya nadella and then many thinkers great thinkers martin luther king abraham lincoln nelson mandela mahatma gandhi and then bhr ambedkar and then many great scholars you have to be a scholarly person you must be a good thinker you should not be a common man you must be different from everybody i have told you in the beginning of the session you must be an exceptional person out of box thinker that is very important so the intelligence ability to stay calm be calm curiosity quick thinker commitment excellent written and verbal communication sympathetic systematic and uh, what to say good writing presentation and communication skills best to reasoning logical thinking being calm kind and simple these are the qualities of a good research and uh, these are the books i am suggesting you can take a screenshot if you are uh, i will also send to ms reethi this uh, list of books what i am suggesting for the good legal research paper if you want to write i will suggest you these books to read if you read these books you will get a good idea and uh, these books will be elaborating what are the things i have explained in this uh, session it will it will discuss the ideas what i have shared with you all in a elaborative manner in a wide perspective that's it i will share this books with uh, list of books with uh, ms reethi and you can also take a screenshot if you take a screenshot and you can share i'll be happy or else i'll share the list of books that's it. so i'll be stop sharing so very happy i have given you a very boredom session so very happy right you all are happy right i have given a very boredom session i have annoyed no, annoyed you all for the past no, no, 49 no, no, minutes no, no i have annoyed you all for the past 49 minutes no no it's, it's really some are leaving the meeting room i came to i have i have received a message from uh, the, the the host the, the the moderator that some are leaving the meeting room sir please wind up the session and she texted me just now simran texted me just now so what we can do no i'm just kidding okay. <laughs> i want you all to be more interactive please join i have finished the session that's it over now 49 minutes i have only 11 minutes so i want you all to be interactive that's it session is going to end in 10 minutes please bear your hunger please bear your sleepness and everything interact with me for 10 minutes at least i'll be very happy for the past 50 minutes exactly i have covered the session i have covered the topic i have covered everything so now i would like to interact with you all any questions 10 minutes an interaction if you all interested sir i have a doubt yes who is that a uh, good evening sir is chitrata yes chitrata yes uh sir while doing the research so how how can we 
uh, cross check the facts because when we are researching we we get a lot of uh, a different uh, results or different uh, information in different sites so how we can uh, cross check it whether the fact is correct or not okay and this i got your point so fact is correct or not so we have seen in uh, many news like this first of all when uh, when uh, when uh, information is coming we all will be believing that is true that is a credible information that is authenticated information later after one week when that uh, information is getting uh, sensational when it is reaching many people some people will scrutinize some people will make analysis and they will find fact check they will make a fact check and they will uh, uh, they will uh, share it that it is not true it is a fake news you have seen right we have, we have seen many across in social media platforms everywhere we have seen like that 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 is only possible through continuous reading that is only possible through a lot of sources when you analyze only you will come to a solution for example when it comes to an autobiography of a particular uh, great personality many publications are publishing it but even modern india even you read the book modern india spectrum is publishing it and then various other uh, uh, the publication forums they are publishing it some may some may some may shorten some information some may elaborate some information so some may leave some information and then you have to read many sources then only you can uh, uh, keep yourself a strong and you have to extensively research on the particular fact which you have to find a solution so that is only is the only way that is what i would like to suggest you have to extensively research on the particular topic how to find whether it is a credible or authenticated information and you have to share with many because when a person who has done lot of research paper your uh, professors are a good scholar you have to go to them you have to share this fact to them ask their view whether this is a true fact or not because these people they have more experience in researching so these people will suggest you so i as a beginner i'm telling you my dear friends in the future i i i have a confident many are going to be good researchers but as a beginner you have to get some support and sources from your uh, circle and from your environment this is my answer for your question thank you sir any other questions so uh, the next question is from uh, harshit chaudhary yes uh so he ek uh, question that can you, yes. Yeah, yes. can you brief a bit on uh, how to search case laws any techniques how to search case laws is that we have a lot of platforms to search case laws india kanun manputra sec online and uh, what to say the eastern law book company and then many many forums uh, we have so what i would like to suggest is that utilize the online platforms at the same time search case laws in the relevant to the topic search case laws from the text and commentaries of the law books this is what i will suggest but online offline both are good only so any techniques there is no any techniques to search case laws you must find the case law you must find the citation that is very very important when you are taking a case law the citation the year is very important you don't you leave the name of the case the versus what to say the the case on the case on the bardi versus jury of india you leave the name of the case but the citation and the year is very important i would i would suggest that you must be confident on the citation year and then the case name this is the only technique i will suggest there is no any other techniques a different techniques to find a case and you must learn how to use this online platforms acc online or uh, uh, india kanun or manuputra and you have to keep yourself updated with that this is my advice to you mr harshit chaudhary yes Uh, the next uh, question, question is from namrata that yeah lexis nexus 2 uh, chitra prasad asked uh, lexis nexus yeah, yeah yeah lexis nexus also you can use no problem i will also suggest some other platforms but that will be in western platforms so you you will not have any awareness but i will suggest it to ms reeti uh, sir the next question is from namrata yes so she asks that is developing a thesis statement and paper outline different what are we supposed to do in it yes a thesis statement first of all number one you must understand that thesis statement is the objective of the research paper what you are going to do in the research that is thesis statement okay the paper outline is for example uh, i am working on uh, indian rivers okay the main objective of my research my indian research my uh, indian rivers research is that i have to interlink the indian rivers interlinking indian rivers this was the vision of dr apj abdul kalam 
so for that i'll be creating a paper outline in that i'll be covering the origin of the research uh, sorry the origin of the river and then the how the rivers are helping in the indian agriculture sector and then how the rivers are helping for transportation how the rivers are helping for uh, fertility and then the irrigation facilities in the agricultural areas the delta regions and then uh, the agricultural protective zones and then how the rivers are connecting to the sea how the rivers are devastating the society how the rivers are uh, exploited how the factories are misusing the rivers and then how the rivers are uh, uh, creating a natural disaster and then how the rivers are utilized for the holy purposes ritual purposes for example ganga river ganga how it is utilized how the river dispute is happening between the state how the river dispute is happening between india and pakistan for example the river river indus or river jews like that like that in such a way we have to river bees sorry river bees so like that uh, you have to create your own outline paper outline is up to you i will not suggest any paper outline there is no any uh, the template or a format a paper outline it is up to you when i take indian rivers i am covering all these areas and i am coming to interlinking the rivers is the only solution for a better transportation for a better agriculture for the better fertility and then the better for the better growth of the nation for the better development of the nation so in such a way it is up to you but this statement you must be very clear that that is only going to reflect the objective of the research paper that is very very important so next question thank you namrata for your question so uh, the next question is from samir that how to select the right title of a research paper right title so for example i'll be selecting a topic on uh, indian desert okay tar desert i am working a research on indian desert indian desert means that is tar tar desert for example in my words i am telling you i have seen in tar desert the rana of kutch the area of rana of kutch in rajasthan the north area the tar desert region many people will not live there some people will be living but uh, there will be oases some water uh, storage areas with that uh, support they are living there if i if i wrote a, if i if i write a research paper on article on the tar desert how i will keep a name unforgotten soil can you get my point unforgotten soil or a forgotten soil forgotten soil soil means desert can you get my point desert is full of soil so the unforgotten soil or a forgotten soil so like that selecting the topic is very important selecting the right title title and topic is different first you understand title is title i am giving for the research paper topic is on which i am going to do the research title is up to your creativity whatever the title you want to keep you can keep it because title also sometimes be attractive i have seen many research paper i have done right when i keep a different title for the title itself when i am going to do presentation i'll get clapped i'll get applause on the audience wow what a title this man has kept after the research presentation i may not get applause i may get applause or i may not get applause for the title itself sometimes i'll be getting appreciation and that will attract people to read when it is getting published so it is up to you it's up to your creativity to keep a different title so research topic is different research title is different the title is which is going to be in the public domain to the society when it is going to reach in public when it is published so research topic is different so that's it uh, mr samir next any questions i thought you all will be interacting but i i did not expect you all will be disappointing me with the chat box text see for the past 55 minutes i shouted like anything but you people are not even opening your lips and talking to me i'm getting more annoyed i did not this chat box must be removed Yes, tell me. Any other questions? I have a, I have a doubt yes. for citations. Uh, so, Namrata. Yes, Namrata. Yes. So the citation given for online sources and the citation given for any source, uh, any PDF that we can get from. any kind of online source are they same because there are sometimes that in pdf there is uh, there is no mention of a author or a co-author and the date and time as well so how do we supposed to cite those no when you go to wikipedia there will be a citation when you research on the topic there will be some citation 
what i would like to suggest is that when a researcher is researching on a particular topic for example if i am doing a research i will be going to sec online i will refer the case i will take the citation from there and i will suggest many people to do that so what i would like to suggest is that you go to an authenticated platform where everybody is getting citation where everybody is referring to the case logs can you get my point mr ms namruta yeah yes sir so go to that kind of a platform please don't go some people i have seen they'll go to wikipedia and they will uh, what to say they will uh, even wikipedia we have a lot of uh, citations for the cases but i don't know every mm-hmm. citations are not authenticated i will not say so you select in such a way that you go to a right platform to get the citation and get the judgment yes mr adarsh yes sir i have a doubt uh, when uh, we are inserting a footnote in our research sir uh, when we are doing it from a book so uh, what we have to write in the year like when the book was first first edition was published or the reprinted version which no, no, year not like that, not like that uh, mr radhas you are right your views are right but what i would like to say is that when you are referring a particular book as a first edition what edition you are referring only you have to mention not the year can you get my point radhas yes sir i am asking not the year we have not we have not we have uh, we are not supposed to mention the year while citing मतलब लिखते हुए सर फुटनोट में ईयर तो नहीं लिखना मतलब ओके 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 नो ईयर यू नीड नॉट वांट टू मेंशन बट द एडिशंस एडिशन यू हैव टू मेंशन एडिशन यू हैव टू मेंशन ईयर यू नीड नॉट वांट टू मेंशन सर बिकॉज़ इन द प्रीवियस एडिशन समटाइम्स द टेक्स्ट वी आर रेफरिंग इज मिसिंग लाइक इफ वी आर दैट्स द रीजन आई एम टेलिंग दैट्स द रीजन आई एम टेलिंग व्हाट एडिशन यू रेफर ओनली यू हैव टू मेंशन कैन यू गेट माय पॉइंट व्हेन आई एम मेंशनिंग अ फिफ्थ एडिशन हाउ आई कैन मेंशन फर्स्ट एडिशन yes sir that is not possible because what you are going to mention in the footnote only actually this footnote is a readers guide you have to understand this readers will be taking guidance from your footnote they will go there they will refer so you have to mention which edition you are referring that is very important thank you mr adarsh any questions so uh, what if the name and uh, name and date and time as well is missing in that online source then may we skip that part i'm unable to get you namrata uh, like in blue book citations uh, we are supposed to provide the name of the author and co-author and uh, for online source we are uh, supposed to give the url as well so if uh, that uh, date and time is not given and the name of authors is not given then are we supposed to skip that part or leave that site and move to another no 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 you cannot skip the author the part you cannot skip already i have taken a session for law internships uh, from the howard blue book mm-hmm. i have taken a session so you cannot uh, skip anything what you would like to mention uh, what i would like to uh, inform you is that you go to the reliable source you go to the directly to the book you note it down and you have to mention that in the blue book format can you get my point uh, suppose uh, the name of the organization is written that uh, it is being published by some organization and here is the information that is being mentioned in that site so are we supposed to name that organization and then the uh, the whole procedure that we are supposed to do according to the blue book citations yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you have to you have to mention because we are taking it from that source only right so you have to mention that only right because when you are uh, taking a source from a particular uh, website or a site or any platform you have to mention it as it is right can you get my point yes sir yes sir understood yeah 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 yes any other questions participants okay so i will give my conclusion i think uh, there is no questions uh, because everybody is feeling hunger and many everybody is feeling sleepy so i should uh, be a good humanitarian to what to say i must have some mercy to leave them so thank you so much all and i am very happy to be with you all today in the session and really i had a great time and uh, really i am very happy that law internships and my best friend riti is giving me such a wonderful opportunity to share the learning what i had in my life and really it is a great opportunity to educate you all so really educating others is really a great deed one human must do in his lifetime so i am very happy that i am creating such a kind of a great deed such a kind of a good deed and i am very happy that 
you young students must always remember that in your life conclusion is not going to be a concept oriented or subject oriented please be casual don't be serious i'm going to give you a good message please always remember that whatever the research whatever the works you are doing whatever the what to say area you are studying or whatever the learning you are taking in your life whatever the values you are taking in your life always remember that that is going to benefit the society that is very important i will always say whenever i go to any platform to talk i will always give a good message to the participants and viewers which life will become more meaningful you all must ask this question to you all which life will become more meaningful whose life will become more meaningful as a life of a cinema artist a life of a businessman a life of a corporate head a life of a money maker a life of a family breadwinner a life of a, what to say a person who is living a crazy and the luxurious life a life of a singer a life of anybody whoever it might be you you are seeing it as a popular personality or a fame a person of fame or anything their life is not going to remain forever they may achieve in their field and they may leave this world but whose life is going to be remembered forever in this world is a person who is going to contribute his life to the society that person's life is only going to remember that person's life is only going to be celebrated that person's life is only going to inspire millions millions in the future so this is a good message i want to give you all when you are doing a research as a law students i am not i am not i am not forcing you people into the track but i expect the students to come up like this you must do something which is going to benefit the society when you do do when you do utilize your education to benefit the society you will be celebrated in the future you will be taken as inspiration by millions so in such a way only whenever you get a opportunity try to do something positive try to create an impact on the society a good impact not a bad impact try to change someone's life try to care someone try to help someone please be simple humble generous with the discipline principles good attitude good principles when you are getting an opportunity now i am educating you when you get an opportunity please educate please educate others you all have got a great opportunity in this life many poor students underprivileged weaker sections downtrodden homeless orphans destitutes they don't have this kind of opportunity they are hopeless this life is a tragedy for them but for you all the life is blessed always remember this try to contribute to the society this is my final message and conclusion so thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity always i am there any time you can get my contact number mail id you can talk to me not only as a speaker of the session as a good guide and mentor i am always there in all your life thank you so much all means a lot thank, thank you so much thank you so much yes thank you father i would like to move with a vote of thanks on behalf of team law internships would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to advocate r abisa k castro so for taking out time from his busy schedule and interacting with the young minds it was truly an enriching session thank you again sir for sharing such wonderful knowledge and experience with us thank you so much uh, simran for your wonderful introduction and vote of thanks I thank all the participants